We're sitting in our RV. It's just so crazy. We've talked about doing this for so many years. <laughs> and we're finally doing it. And it's, I just feel so, so fortunate. And then I'm really grateful. Hey y'all, we are Sean and Christina, and this is our therapy dog, Nash. We left our home in Nashville, Tennessee to travel the U.S. in an RV and shine a bright spotlight on the incredible work that therapy dogs do across our country. All right, well, we are here in the trailer after we cleaned it all day. And by we, I mean Nelsie. I was gonna say, I'm pretty I sure. Really that you just shot footage just hung and hung out. I think that was my excuse for not <laughs> cleaning. And also, on that point, it's also a good time to explain what Nelsie means. So this is actually Christina, but before we. I would got, hope that people know that by now. Well, yeah. But. <laughs> Before we got married, her maiden name was Nelson. And through a series of events, and as you'll get to know her, she's pretty <laughs> sassy. Uh, I nicknamed her when we were dating the Nelsonator. Which I hated. Which was amazing though. Like, it was It terrible. was such a good nickname. It and it still is a good nickname. But <laughs> over the years, I don't even remember when I changed it. I think it's when we moved back from San Diego. I do. Sean likes to be efficient. And he did I not do, think yeah. that calling me the Nelsonator was efficient anymore. So he shortened, shortened it one it. day to Nelsie. Yeah. And somehow Nelsie is a little less repulsive than the Nelsonator. So I went with it. Yeah. So, so it's that's, stuck. this is Nelsie, introducing yes. Nelsie. Here we are. Yes, thank you. So, thank anyways, you. yes, we're nice and clean, um, ready to start putting our stuff in, which is awesome. But we have one small problem. We don't have a truck. <laughs> we're sitting in the RV in our driveway and we don't have a truck. Nothing. So we have, we are a one car household. We like, we spend the majority of our time together. Yeah. So uh, we currently drive a Volkswagen Passat. It's a diesel. But and we love it, but. I don't think when they say that for this kind of trailer, you need a diesel. I don't think they're talking about a VW Passat. I'm pretty I'm sure, pretty sure it's. It's a truck. Y'all, could you imagine a 38-foot travel trailer getting I mean, towed by a little bus That spot. would be pretty sweet. We've seen some crazy stuff on the freeways, but I think that I would take wanna, the cake. I don't want to be added to that list. Yeah. So we need to find a truck. We have got our parameters set for trucks all across the country. Yeah. Well, specifically, though, a Ford F350. Yes. So I've the market's just insane right now. Mm -hmm. So I've got searches out there. Um, we don't really care about a specific color. We just need it to be a diesel F350 with moderate miles because we're going to be driving quite a bit mm -hmm. this year. All right, so I'm out on a walk and I fortunately had the camera with me because I was getting some footage with some other stuff and I just got the phone call that we got the truck. So the, the gal that I had been going back and forth with at a dealer up in Minnesota um, let me know that it was officially ours. So this is a huge weight off of our shoulder now I just have to take a flight first thing tomorrow morning uh, from Nashville to fly up to Brainerd, Minnesota 
and uh, they're graciously picking me up at the airport so that's gonna be super nice um, and I'll be grabbing the truck and then driving I think it's like 16 hours back so really really thankful very glad that we finally have something to pull the RV with which is uh, kind of a nice thing <laughs> and I'm gonna head up there and grab the truck and drive back oh my goodness this thing is absolutely amazing literally everything that I wanted we paid less than what we were thought we were going to had to fly up to Minnesota to get it but that's okay because I made some new friends at Kimber Creek Ford in Brainerd Minnesota they were so amazing they even picked me up at the airport um, so highly recommend them but I've got a 16 plus hour drive which is going to take me two days I'm not going to do it in one swoop so let's get started So I'm somewhere in the middle of Iowa and I literally pull over because it's it's getting dark and it's pretty much dark right now. But I told Nelsie earlier this year that I am dying to get footage of a combine and specifically a combine taking corn out. And around the Nashville area, we don't really have that. You have to drive to West Tennessee to see that or go up to Kentucky. And I'm driving and I see this combine taking this stuff out and I pull over, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have the drone with me right now. I brought it for whatever reason. And lo and behold, I get out and start shooting and I got to see it on my phone a little bit, but I can't wait to go home and edit it. I can't wait to show Nelsie. Oh my gosh, I am so pumped. Man, so I get home, uh -huh. it's raining and storming. Typical Nashville. From the forever drive from Minnesota. Jeez. Poor thing. Well, what have you been up to? Looks pretty I good in am here. getting organized in here. This is my favorite part of things that I do is organize things. So I've got a couple dishes. We're gonna try a water filter. I put our coffee maker in here and I packed peanut butter and jelly and hot dogs because we are going on our very first trial run to, I think it's called Twin Rivers. It's at Tim's Ford Lake. And yeah, down in Winchester. Close to the Jack Daniels distillery. Yes. Pretty cool down there. So close enough, but not close enough. That way we can see what we need, what we don't need. I mean, how the heck do you even empty your black and gray tanks? Like, yeah, things no that idea. we need to learn. So, no idea. Honestly though, I- Couldn't do I, it in the driveway. It'd be pretty messy. Yeah, <laughs> gross. <laughs> we would get kicked out of our neighborhood. But um, yeah, I've got a couple of things in the pantry and just trying to go through and see what we need and where to put things and trying to find a home. But honestly, I think that we have a big learning curve ahead of us. And I know that's kind of overwhelming at times, but I'm really excited. I keep reminding myself in this process of what we're doing that we are going to touch so many lives through this and I don't know I just feel super humbled by it and I'm so ready and so excited and they didn't really tell you how loud this rain would be no one no oh my gosh uh, they're yes. like little pebbles hitting the roof you can probably hear it you think oh rain it's so light and refreshing and peaceful but in the rv it's like pellets hitting the top of the roof and all the slides and you don't think about that this might be tough to get used to another thing that might be tough to getting used to is the coffee maker when you open the lid it you have it's not tall enough so we have to like take the coffee maker out flip it around put the water in the coffee in and then put it back so things will get used to it's not going to be perfect but it is going to be really good and really if you can't tell very excited so well, stay tuned let's uh, make our way down to winchester at tim's ford lake Hello, 
Can you tell me something? Something. That's what you would say back to me. I mean, I feel like we chose the best campground to start this off at. We're on a lake. Fav one of our favorite things to do is be at the lake. We, but I will say it wasn't super smooth getting here. We had to cut through town, which we weren't expecting. And Nash man, over here, over here. We cut through a town, which we weren't expecting. Had to take a couple of really sharp turns that you weren't expecting. And then we missed our turn to the RV resort, which we weren't expecting. But we got it, we got here. And as soon as we realized we needed to pull in instead of back in, we were good. Then we had some leftover pizza from last night for lunch. Now Nash is swimming, having some root beer. I'm happy as a clam. Nash man, hey, back here. Good boy. So how many times in the last 48 hours do you think Nash has swam? Oh, I counted five. Oh, I would say at least five. <laughs> so uh, we took him swimming a lot. He swam for hours, but only one of the times he went on his own uninvited. I opened the door and he walked, walked ran straight to the yeah. water. If you have a golden or a dog that loves the water, you know that sometimes they just can't control themselves. And he loves the water. He's, yes. If he has a spirit animal, it's probably a dolphin. 100%. If the dog can have a spirit animal, I don't know the Why rules. Why not? Why not? sounds cool. Yeah, Nash had a great first trial run RVing. Yeah. I mean, the whole trip was amazing for the mm -hmm. first time. I know. We are super spoiled. Uh, being at a lake RVing for the first time way exceeded expectations. We met two couples mm -hmm. that I, we absolutely fell in love with and hearing their stories and how they got to where they are has just been so fun and i can't wait for this next year because we're going to meet so many people with so many crazy awesome stories hopefully some of you hopefully definitely some of you and we can't wait to share those stories and share how they've been impacted in life by their dogs or just in general yeah and this transition to full-time living in an rv is definitely an adjustment to our normal routine and schedule and really everything about life um, and so we're really excited to introduce you to our first sponsor that's been instrumental in making this possible um, called Lippert. And they're an incredible company out of Indiana. And they have- Who's your connection? Who's We're your connection? originally from yep. Indiana. They're actually up near Notre Dame, which is where I went to school. And we went to all Indiana schools, mm -hmm. which was really cool. But um, they not only have amazing products, but they care so much for their people and they care so much for the people that they're making the products for. So when we started talking with them about what we were doing, it was such a natural partnership. And I honestly can't imagine doing this without them or doing this with anyone else. So um, there'll be more to come on this with the specific products that are helping our lifestyle change uh, become much easier and more convenient for us. And we're excited to show those to you. Uh, but for now, we need to get back to Nashville because we got to finish packing, moving yes. everything back in here. Yes. Now that we know what works and doesn't, uh, we got to finish selling our stuff and we got to get to Iowa because we got to be there by Thanksgiving and we got to wrap the trailer. garage sale starts at seven, but I gotta go because we have our first customer. So fingers crossed we make some money.
What you working on? Uh, I am just finishing calculating all that we have made from our three weekends of garage sales and all that we've sold on Facebook Marketplace, which um, I don't think that you've seen the updated numbers. I don't think so. It's probably from last week, I think. Okay, so the last time we talked, I think we were hovering around 6,000. Yeah, it sounds about right. Right now, we have made, we still have a few more things to sell, but we have made 11,000. Holy cow, are you serious? Oh, there's more, there's more. $11,890.16. And we're selling our car for 12,000. So it's so, like 24, what, 23,000, $24,000? Just shy of that. And okay. what's amazing is all this stuff would have gone in storage. But instead, which we would have paid for. Yes. To store. Yes, we would have been spending money every month to pay to store all of this old stuff. But instead, we sold it and we get to put it towards all of the costs for the tour, which is so awesome to be able to turn something that you could use later into something that you really need to use now. So we're super excited That's about amazing. that. I'm exhausted though, if you can tell. So we've got a couple more boxes to pack, a couple more things to sell, and then we've got to hit the road to go to Iowa to get our trailer wrapped. Well, let's rock and roll. Let's do it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Everything out? I don't know. Left and the cabinets? <laughs> I double checked everything. 